All right, so in the last video, we talked about making alarms. Um, now I want to show you a little trick about these alarms too. To as you see, they when they displayed, they displayed kind of awkward. So uh, we're going to go down to edit and go into alarms again. Pick your alarm, and what you want to do is you want to add display path. So having the label is good, um, having the name is good, but if you really want it to show up on your actual alarm screen your your actual active display path current and stuff like that then you can do this right so we can say this this is corn syrup uh corn syrup low level we'll change the name of it a little bit the label corn syrup low level uh, and then for the rest of it, actually notes is fine and then so we'll come over here and hit apply at this point what we're going to do is run it and we're going to come over here and go to our corn syrup tank and make sure it gets below its set point and then that way it pops up down here and see at that point you see it says corn syrup tank level low or low level and so over here it has a label over here it has the event id the uh, priority uh, again when it comes down to it you can change your priorities um, it's very very simple to add you know change your priorities you know you can change that to a, a, a critical or a high priority if you want and if we were to acknowledge that we can acknowledge it but it's still going to be there right because again we haven't come over here and satisfied that the it's, it's above the actual point of you know right here as soon as it goes above then it goes back uh, so we need to do that to all of our alarms and so we'll come over here to this next set and then come over here to alarms and again when we talked about the notes the notes I feel like is a good uh, display path and you can put this again have some kind of text or something with a tag or something if you want but I'm just hard coding it um, and then we'll have VF default as well because we had that other uh, we had the, those are the alarms we put in so far. So for label, you can see this is VF default for path. We're going to call that PowerFlex fault. And for the sake of that, we can go ahead and drop the PowerFlex and let it establish power again. Sorry about that. I had trouble plugging the Ethernet back in. So at this point, again, it still has to come over here and establish communication back to the PowerFlex. It hasn't hasn't acknowledged that it dropped yet, but as soon as it does, it will prompt a fault in our faults up here. Now that it knows right here that it does have a connection fault, it's going to take the you know connection to come back before we can get a fault. So as soon as the connection comes back, we will get a fault. And that fault will come down here and now display a VF or PowerFlex 525 fault. So it's very, very similar to what we had in the Factory Talk side, side edition. Um, but you know, you have your active time, you have your active display. Dude, that's going to be your basically your wording. And again, you can come over here and click right here, show notes. Um, and again, the notes will have extra information that you want to put in there for that very reason. Now for this case, I can actually reset this fault. Actually, I need to come over here and my projects and read write, and then reset the fault. As soon as I re reset the fault, I can acknowledge the fault and then it goes away. So I just wanted to make that short video just to kind of describe and kind of define that a little bit better because I did I felt like I did not define that as, as well as I should have on the very last video. But there's so many different things you can do with the alarms and there's so many different things you can do, you know, with this software. So again, when it comes down to it, it's very diverse, but we are, you know, what we projected to do is take our batching station course or batching station project and, and convert it over. And we have got it to the point where we can make a batch now. So with that said, you know, we have made good progress on that. And again, you can see it starting it's actually starting to make the batch and I'm going to just let it go ahead and finish that the batch. But 
as far as I, as far as this video I would just wanted to make a recap about how to actually get your alarms to to really kind of show up a little bit a little bit better you know and, and kind of get the the know-how and the understanding behind it right so you can actually have again tie like um, you can tie string attack string tags to that as well and and put in whatever you want to for this display path again but I just chose to hard code it meaning I typed it out and then I showed that alarm so with that said hope you learned a lot from this video we'll see you guys on the next one